Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where I just spent some time mining while I was waiting for my audio to export. Uh, but we do have three points now. Okay, well I'm saving up for for probably for cryo ammo. I don't know. I don't know about uh, hmm. These two, squad cryo ammo or improved cryo ammo. Probably having everybody have it would be nice. That's cool. The inferno ammo is really cool too, actually. Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> that's a tough one. All right, make sure everything is on and working. And okay. All right. Should we go do the? Uh... Ah! All right, that's what I did. That's what I did. Gary, 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 Garris and Tally's mission four just combined their name. Oh yeah, I was out here mining a bit, Get mining, exploring, getting those hundred percents on the map, cause I like to. Far trip. Okay. Oh, and let's buy some groups. We're actually at an even number at one point. At this point, for once. Oh, okay. That little flag is gone. Uh, oh my gosh. Explore Normandy. Where is it? Uh, near Omega? I guess we were in the Terminus systems, but... Is it... Is it Omega? Wait, Omega's over here. Okay. Hey, we're close by. <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm like mentally prepared for this. Uh, Amada, that's where we were then. Whew. An extensive nebula. A cluster. Oh my gosh, I don't think, I don't know if I'm fully prepared for this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cool planet. Engana is a hot, beautiful, and deadly world covered with the debris of ancient starships. <laughs> Approximately 127,000 years ago, a series of battles were fought over it by two organic species. Oh my gosh! Cool! More species! Uh, Tohan, Tohan, Toh, Tohan, and Insunan. Although no records of the conflict remains, most historians agree that both races wanted to colonize in Ghana, and neither were willing to share. The, the two lost hundreds of ships in a series of battles over in Ghana and its moon, Baria. Baria. Many of these were eventually pulled in by the planet's gravity well. The Mass Effect drive cores of these ships broke apart, dumping refined element zero over large stretches of landscape. This poisoned the environment in a way that extinctions followed. Many of the animal species that remain showed a tendency to develop biotic powers. As the ecology in Ghana is energetic and aggressive, this makes colonization a deadly peril. Let's just... It doesn't sound like there's an anomaly anywhere, but there's the Ezo. Launched. I don't think we, we might have heard something about one of those. I'm not sure about one of those species. But it's cool to like know that we have at least a little bit of history about some of these species. Orbiting close to the F-class star, star Armada, attacking as a blistering sun blasted hell. Sure looks like it. Neither its carbon dioxide atmosphere nor its weak magnetic field provides any protection from the star's host radiation. Fortunately, Takana has few significant resources and is only notable for an unusual purple desert in the southern hemisphere, thought to be the result of eroded spessarite. Can I see it? I don't think I can see it. Nothing of significance. Okay. <laughs> Takan. Karora. Karora is essentially a great rock in space. It's highly locked Amada. It is only notable, uh, it's only notable features a chain of craters touching the northern hemisphere. 
touching across the northern hemisphere, although though thought though thought to be the result of impacts by a swarm of meteors. Kara's low density suggests it contains no minerals beyond common light metals. It maintains a tenuous atmosphere, krypton and xenon. <laughs> I'm not ready. Angea is a typical ammonia methane asteroid. I'm like so nervous. Traces of fluorine in the atmosphere give it to green tint. Penetrating scans have revealed large numbers of hollow, unpowered objects with dimensions 3.14 by 12.56 by 28.26. Is that like the first, like, I don't know, so many numbers of pi? Because 3.14 is. Circulating in the equatorial cloud bands, these objects appear to have sails or wings attached, allowing them to be borne aloft by Angea's wings. While they are too deep to be reached for study, popular conjecture in xenoarchaeological cir circles holds that they are coffins of an ancient race who laid their dead to rest in the gas net. Ah, how cool! How cool would it be to be a xenoarchaeologist? <laughs> like, seriously! Like, like, seriously! Like, oh my gosh! Like, it's one thing, like, you think maybe as, like, a human archaeologist, it's like, oh, we've already discovered all the mysteries, anything we figure out is just like a little thing you know but it's like that's not as that's not true but it's like how much are we allowed can we can we discover are we capable of discovering with our current technology of like past life and stuff like that but freaking a xenobiol or xenoarchaeologist like you'd have like a whole new frontier you know it'd be so cool hey can i can i study them please let me study them Launching probe. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I pass it? Oh, I think I poked on the. Whoa, okay. Alcara. Detected an anomaly. Alcara's <laughs> Kara, crust is composed of carbon and water ice while well, low density. Its large size allows it to retain a thick atmosphere of methane and ammonia. It is believed that if Alcara had acquired a bit more mass when the Amada star system formed, it would have formed the core of a giant sector out of second outer system gas giant. Alcara has three moons Uluru, Wangina, and Baime. <laughs> Can I. Well, there's a friggin' a lot of iridium right there. Where? I don't hear anything about it, you know? Probe away. Scans have found something. Scans confirm the wreckage of the SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. <laughs> I'm like honestly like eh, like nobody better walk into my room right now like I'm having a very emotional moment right now and it's gonna get even more emotional and I don't even I don't even know I like really want to bring Thane but I feel like it would only be fair to bring Garrus and Tally even if they don't say anything <sighs> Is it just gonna be me? I did think that it might be just me. Oh my gosh. My baby. Looks like it's just Shepard. Makes sense. I feel like Joker should come too, you know? gone away. <laughs> Dog tag. Oh. They glow. Hmm. <gasps> it's the Mako! Is it still intact? I would not be surprised. Oh, wow. Is this like, this isn't like narrow. This is like wide. Looks like. Like Juan. Oh, Ramen Mandira. Okay. I like want to go to the heart of the ship right now. But maybe I should 
Oh my gosh. That was when we. Oh. Um. I don't. Do I want to place the marker yet? Is this where we're? Or do we have options? Maybe we'll we'll wait. Maybe. Yeah. Oh no. I could. Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's kind of scary for a second. I'm kind of glad it's snowy. Oh, and the aurora! I didn't say there was an aurora borealis on this planet. My baby. I like the snow, though. To me, that, that seems perfect. Forever, you know, I don't know, forever encases it in its, what's left of its beauty and what it means to me and my crew. Kind of freezes, it, it kind of makes it so it's not so horrible in a way. Oh, I, so there's multiple places I could place the monument, I think. Or that's just the same general vicinity as the other one. stayed was it like down it's I was I like recognized it sort of but we might place the monument here because Ashley also deserves to be remembered oh good my guns put away I think I go a little bit slower Is that? Oh. This is so eerie, but beautiful at the same time. It's like the ice has like encased my ship, you know? My poor baby. At least she went down fighting, I guess. We could say that. She was not a ship to just, you know... Let herself... Oh! This is the walkway up... Yeah. That led up to the cockpit. Cockpit might have been over here. Can't tell because the cockpit is open, so there shouldn't be a wall there. But this is a beautiful place for you to land, baby. There was a shining star, my baby. My baby's in a beautiful place, huh? Final resting place. She got a good one. Mm. The Mako. We should put a monument right in front of the Mako. What are you talking about? Yeah, there we go. I love that the Mako's still intact. Of course she is. <laughs> Monument to the Mako. Oh, 
Put it away. I was just trying to jump over. I think I do walk a little faster, but... Did I go over here? SOS? Is that an escape pod? Some of the escape pods didn't make it. Is there a way to get up here? I don't need refined element zero. You aren't like hiding anything behind you, are you? It feels really weird though to the refined element zero was it up there that's weird oh down there the snow is peaceful I don't know I like it so much of the world to see. Data pad. Shoot. Unrecoverable data by Nav Journal of Navigator Presley. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Data recovered. Spoke to the commander about this. I corrupt all these darn aliens about the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them, especially that Asari and a quarry. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Unrecoverable data, data recovered with the quarry, and it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the law of her home ship. I can understand that. I uh, would maybe wouldn't let her babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose it's not too bad. Uh, for a while now, and I'm taking a look back at the past entries of this journal, I realize, possibly, how blind I was at the time. I came on this ship firmly believing humanity is on its own in the galaxy. Cor Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. I'm glad that Presley changed it up, because, like, you didn't, I don't, I mean, if you poked him more in the game, but him and, um, Tally actually worked together a lot on, like, stuff I'd recover. Like, it would say in the little, uh, text entries, that they would work together. Ah, Presley. I'm glad, I'm glad you, I don't know, died happy. Died not being resentful of what we did. I don't know. Eh, how do I get over there? And this is kind of, this is where he stood, isn't it? Oh, how do I reach, how do I reach the N7 helmet? Oh, is it? Oh, it's this way. Okay, I was a little bit off. Wow. Wow, it's in pretty bad shape. I thought uh, Liara had it. How many dog tags did I get? Oh, not codex. Journal. Um... Shoot, I don't know. I don't think I got all of them. Well, this is... I mean, this is as... F There's no dog tags back here, which kind of surprises me. Ha ha ha! 
I think I've been everywhere. Well, there's some refined element zero I didn't notice before, so. Is there stuff in the fragile crates? Where's like the drive core? Whoa, we almost lost the majority of the Normandy. Can I get over there? Maybe? I mean, that doesn't really look very solid as a bridge, but... I don't want to make any excessively loud noises, but I can't just punch the crate. Uh... Oh, okay. Looks like I have to. Gotta go. I have 14 now. Oh my gosh, are you like stuck on me? What is this? All right, they went away. I think we will put it here. I mean, it kind of makes sense to put it where the Mako's at, just because the Mako is um, in like the center of the thing. <gasps> There's like her tail. Those are like the thrusters. Oh, my Mimi. Oh. No fragile crates over there. Oh, here's another vehicle. Oh, that's the shuttle. Like my, I was like, that's an, oh, look, a dog tag. All right, that's good, because I was like, I'm pretty sure there aren't like six crates around. There's another crate though. We've got 15. Did I go in here? I did, didn't I? Oh, I, I didn't? This is the... It wasn't open before, but this is the cockpit. What was that other one, then? This is the walkway that leads to the cockpit. Oh, the other one was the sleep pods, the sleeper pods, I remember, okay. That makes more sense now. Put it there too. The head of the ship. Kind of reminds me of when the Normandy went down. You know, it's nice. It's like she went down in fire and flame, but now she gets to rest in a place where the flames of battle were quenched, and she went out with a fight, but now she gets to rest in peace and serenity with the stars and the shooting stars. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a good place with the aurora over there. She's earned a bit of rest. Refined element zero. Oh, getting back there. Well, hopefully there's enough of those crates around. Let's see. I'm hoping I hit every place too, you know? I'm on this side. I went over to that to that part of the Normandy first. so odd. I 
There's a crate. Well, so much for bringing Callie and Garrison. I feel like her, those two, and Joker, they definitely deserve to come. Joker especially. Joker was even more attached to the Normandy than I was, I think. How many? I got 18. Oh, man. I don't know how many more there are. I mean, how many more... I don't think there were very many. I'm really hoping I looked at everything. I think the N7 helmet was here. Yeah, this is the command center. The data pad. Oh man, I gotta get all the dog tags. Oh, there's a crate. Oh my gosh, that damaged my barriers. My shields or whatever. Yeah, these are the sleeper pods. Well, where, where is the last one? Dog tag! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I came over here. I got him! All right, time to place the monument. Place it over here. Ashley was our first comrade to fall, so we'll we'll honor her memory. It's cool that they uh, let you kind of choose where it's gonna be. Come on. Eh. Why won't you let me? Okay. Beautiful. That looks very good. I like that we get to commemorate our often unmentioned crewmate, the Normandy. I don't know, that's a beautiful statue. I like it. It's like flying off. She's... She's earned, she's earned her bit of fun now, I don't know, she's earned rest and she just, it just looks like she's gonna forever be going into the stars, you know? So, I hope this is where Ashley's was anyway, I think it was. Place it again? Oh, can I place like multiple monuments or what? That's interesting. I might try to mess with that. We'll see. Where's... I don't think the Mako gets one. I think it did, actually. Did it? It got a cut. It got a little, like, flashback. Oh, okay. Let me save the game really quick. If it changes where the monument goes, I'll just put it back. Okay, so it did change it. That's cool that they change it. <laughs> nah, we'll go back. Hmm. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Alright, well that wasn't as heartbreaking as I thought it would be. It's actually more peaceful than it. That's nice that they're like, here, we know it was very traumatic, the intro to the game. So, here, have a, have a nice, calm relaxing, letting go, I guess. I don't know. Remembering and 
and peace, I don't know, being at peace. There you go, baby. I will never forget you. I have I have a memorial for you on my shelf in front of my desk. It's it's your model ship. It's the model of the SSV Normandy original. I've got all three versions of you, baby. All three versions. I don't have you, Mako, but <laughs> you're in my heart too. <laughs> But this is a gorgeous place. I really like it. This is nice. This is nice. Thank you, Bioware. How do I go home? What now? Oh, I completed it, but how do I leave? Uh. We're in the butt. I'm not sure how to... No. I'm not sure how to put my gun away. No, that's not what I mean to do. There we go. Oh, no. That was switching it. How do I leave? Oh my gosh, I don't know how to leave! Oh, did I not save after placing the monument? Oh, I don't think I, I must, but I did. Okay, let's try to leave now. I don't even care. <laughs> oh my gosh! That is so, but I did, that is so weird! Uh, okay, I think it's fine where it's at. It's fine where it's at. Let's go. Oh, dang. That's, that was dumb. I swear, I put it down, reloaded where- Or did I reload where I, like, hadn't put it down? That's weird. Right. The last resting place of the SSV Normandy. Oh, I think, um, the, the, it did say there was a bug that these, you can't actually research these. But, uh, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I already have the first one, so it's saying 50% now. But I already have, I have full tech damage, so that doesn't matter. Maybe, you know what, maybe that was Shepard's personal mission right there. You know what, I actually really like that. Because everybody else gets their own personal mission, but this was, like, I think one of the last things that Shepard... Maybe that's what it was, kind of. Maybe that's kind of what it was meant to be. Like, everybody else had their own loyalty missions, their own personal missions to, like, tie up their loose ends. But this was Shepard's. This was Shepard's mission that she did on her own to kind of get closure for the losses that she had. You know? I like that. I was just thinking it would have been kind of funny if the Cerberus logo, if the... If the, if the uh, Cerber elusive man would have said something like, you know, Shepard is now fully on board with the mission or something. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't have anything else distracting her. Commander, you've received a new oh, message right. at your private terminal. That makes sense. Uh, I'm Rahaka. Commander Shepard. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we have sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people, Commander. I thank you on their behalf. Peace of mind for myself, too. Admiral Darrells and Vasmora. Who is that? Uh, oh, that's Zen. Oh, whoa, well, okay. Shepard Vas Normandy. I've been digging through the Alamar, Al Alamari, Alari. Just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Railzor was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Corn people can adjust their homeworld, the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Railzor's death will not have been in vain. I will completely start it. Cordially, Admiral Darrowson. <laughs> not that she's like, cordially. Uh, she's like so polite that it's rude. You're going to bring death and damnation to your people, I think. But I can't control you. 
Joker, I just went and found a Normandy. Commander. Hey, bye. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I'm gonna pretend we had a nice chat about it. You jerk. You joik. Um. Maybe I'll go poke. Careful. Here's all the heavy weapons. Well, almost all of them. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking. Sounds good. Oh! I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. The ship does have a bar. Uh, how are you doing? I don't know. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Yeah. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. We're just like staring out the window. we friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Well, Good thanks. That was nice. That was a nice little chat. Well, now I feel like I should probably go and poke like Miranda or something, but we'll call it for now. Um, thank you guys for joining me on that one. I'm not sure how long that's going to be because <laughs> it got a little bit weird there uh, when I couldn't figure out what I'm freaking I was doing. Um, anyway, thank you again for joining me. I will see you on the next one.